Good afternoon and happy, what's today? Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Um, anyways guys, I'm actually, I just got done babysitting and I'm going to make the freezer dinners for this week. I got the chicken breast on, was it Thursday maybe or something like that or whatever day we end up going to the grocery stores. And so I figured normally I get it on Saturdays. And so like by like Tuesday, Wednesday is when I normally end up making the freezer dinners. And it's already Tuesday and I think I bought it earlier this week. Um, so I was like, I should probably get to that. So I was actually going to show you guys kind of what I'm making because I'm making a few more like a lot of times lately I've just been making like two maybe four freezer dinners at a time um just like super fast ones because I lately over the summer I feel like haven't had the um like the brain like power to be like okay this is what I'm gonna do and you know that kind of stuff and honestly we've got a ton of what I really just like to do in the summer which is a lot of easy freezer dinner grilling which is like just chicken breasts in a marinade and then I freeze it and then I defrost it and then we just grill the chicken breasts so that the chicken breast is always like not fresh but you know it's not I don't have to be like oh we have to make sure that we use up this chicken breast because it's been sitting in the fridge since <laughs> Thursday or whatever um I just make it into freezer dinner and it's ready to go and I don't have to be like oh I have to try and find this now and whatever so that's what I really like to do in the summers and we also have like um we bought a bunch of deli like hamburgers um and so we even have some of those that are frozen out in the freezer so those are like easy fast ones that I normally try and do over the summer and there's other ones too that are like harder to do I think in the summer just because of you know you don't want to do soups and you know a lot of like that kind of slow cooker stuff and a lot of ones that involve like turning the oven on or stuff like that and so I like to do other different types of like freezer dinner ones honestly for the longest time I think I've been making salsa chicken and like pasta chicken was like something that we I think we were pretty much almost living on that and barbecue chicken those were the three that I just kept making like consistently over and over and over again so um I do first need to do the um, I need to do some produce prep and then I also need to like I said make this freezer dinners which I originally was planning on actually doing eight freezer dinners but I realized the chicken breasts I ended up getting were a little bit smaller so I was gonna actually do two bags of like freezer like marinated chicken um, that can go on the grill but I'm actually just gonna save that I have two bottles of marinade anyway what are you doing next to the cookie jar Charlie <laughs> see him on the stairs my mom must have not put the cookie jar away um and he's trying to figure out how to get into it um i forgot what i was saying guys but um yeah so i'm just gonna save that marinade for like the next time chicken breast goes on sale and i can pick up some of it um seriously cracking me up right now over there there's a bunch of stuff on the stairs i didn't clean the um the bathroom today which is i normally clean the stairs hallway and bathroom all at the same time but as you guys can see there's still stuff on the stairs that nobody picked up there is um still stuff in the bathroom there's stuff like um oh i don't really think there's that much in the hallway um but like that stuff didn't get picked up so when that stuff's not picked up is when i normally don't wind up cleaning and um so i'm not doing that this today i didn't um and then we also ended up actually we took the little boy baby sat for to go see toy story 4 today um which was it was such a cute movie but honestly guys i got a little like choked up at the end it was a little bit of an emotional movie it was kind of like um i don't know toy story 3 when i watched it i don't know if i was really like old enough like i was old enough i think i was maybe i don't know how long ago did it come out like i was in maybe high school or something like that but i don't think like i wasn't like oh this is so sad and i'm gonna cry and stuff like that although a lot of people said like toy story 3 they got really emotional and i thought the ending of this movie was a little bit like kind of sad but I don't know honestly I kind of felt like it just kind of kept like going <laughs> like I don't know it was a really cute movie I really liked it but I kept going oh there's like not like a big like I don't know like it just kind of kept seem seeming like oh like there's this little thing here and like there's that little thing there and like I don't know it didn't 
I don't know. I don't know how, how, what, how to describe it. Like I said, it was a really good movie and I liked it, but it just, like I kept going, oh, is this like the end? Or like, how are they gonna wrap it up from here? And it seemed like they just, like towards even the end of the movie, it was like they were introducing new characters. And I was like, wait, who's this? And like, what's going on? And like, I don't know. It just seemed like it kept going, like, I don't wanna say kept going longer than it should have, but I think, and guys that's the thing too is that when like you watch the commercials or trailer for a movie and stuff like that you think it's going to be like this but it winds up being like that i hate doing that because it winds up ruining my perception of the movie like what i'm thinking it's going to be is totally not <laughs> it does kind of wind up screwing up my per my perception of it so i would like i said i was thinking like oh it's going to be like this or something like that and i thought it was going to focus more on like the toys all being together whereas they were split up for like most of the movie like sometimes you didn't even see like i felt like you didn't see a lot of the original like toys um a whole lot like really at all um and so that was one of the things and like i said too they started introducing new characters and i was like okay like why are we doing that now and not like sticking with the old ones um and yeah i don't know it just kind of fell a little all over the place but honestly i feel like when i go to the movies and watch a movie that's how i feel a lot of the time so when i rewatch it i'm like oh like that's so cute or like you know whatever and because i know now what the movie's going to be so it makes it i don't know different or like i can follow the story maybe a little bit better like with the second time i watch it but the first time when i see movies like in theaters a lot of times i just sometimes cannot follow them very well i don't know why but <laughs> yeah anyways i'm gonna get rolling on these freezer gender so i'll kind of show you guys maybe a little bit of an update like through doing the the um the dinners and stuff all right guys this is the first thing that i've got going is i need to um cut up the produce so I've got lettuce and tomatoes that are gonna be for the salad for this week. I also have broccoli that I'm actually going to cut up um, and probably use this as a side dish for probably dinner tonight and maybe one other night. Um, I also have corn in the fridge that I don't have to do anything for. It's actually already um, cleaned and everything like that. And then I've got a watermelon I'm gonna cut up and four bell peppers, which guys actually though for the, um, salads we probably are not going to need to buy any more tomatoes for a while because this is what already has come off of our um what's it called uh our out of the garden so we actually do have one nice big one i think a lot of these are plum like grape tomatoes i think maybe these ones are actually the paste tomatoes like the medium sized one and then the small ones are like cherry tomatoes or something like that um but there's still more out there that look like yellowy orangey but they weren't totally red yet so they still had a little while to go so i've been thinking by next week we actually probably won't have to buy any more um what's it called tomatoes at the grocery store we can just use the ones from our garden to throw over our salad so that is what i'm going to start on for right now is doing some of this produce prep update on the freezer dinners guys i got them all six are finished um i made two of these chicken philly cheese steak um, like slow cooker freezer dinners. Basically, it's just some spices, seasonings, chicken breast, and then um, bell peppers. I just used what I had. Those were actually old bell peppers that I had already cut up from last week. Um, so I put all of those, split them between the two bags, and then cut up the new bell peppers for this week because um, I like to just snack on those. But the nice thing is, again, if I didn't get to eating all of them, I can always use them for like freezer dinners like this. So um, that's what I ended up doing. And then this, these two are um, chicken with stuffing. My mom does this as a um, a dinner for the oven, but I converted it to be a slow cooker freezer dinner. Um, so I made two of those and then also to this orange barbecue chicken. Not totally sure how this is going to turn out guys. Um, I ended up actually adding a um, a half a jar. Um, I used a full jar and split it between the two of the orange like marmalade um, and then I used a full bottle um, between the two again split it for the um, just regular barbecue sauce and I'm actually not sure how we're gonna eat this. Um, it could probably honestly there's two whole chicken breasts in here so it might be able to be like it's just a actual chicken chicken dinner or it could maybe be over rice. It could maybe be as a sandwich like you know a barbecue chicken sandwich like I do but it is a little bit different since I did add the orange in there. It could possibly even be grilled like maybe. Um, 
I'm not really sure. I've never tried to do um, like barbecue sauce frozen and then grilled it. I've only ever done like a um, a marinade, so I don't know how that would turn out. Um, but I did it as a slow cooker dinner, and again, we'll see how we end up using it. Um, sometimes, honestly, like the dinner that I made tonight, I'll show you guys, it just winds up me turning out, turn figuring out like how do I want to serve this, and then I just kind of punt and figure it out. Um, but like with the, the Philly Philly cheese steaks will wind up being with um, like as a sandwich, you know. Um, so we'll, I'll wind up cooking the the chicken in the slow cooker and then shred it up, and we'll do it as like sandwiches. The only thing is, I uh, realized I don't have any. Um, onions so I wrote on here just to add onions when I cook which I won't add when I first put it in probably a little bit later just because the onions won't be frozen and the you know freezer dinner will be frozen so it'll cook at a different temperature and the onion will probably wind up being like super super you know insanely mushy by the time the rest of the stuff is actually cooked um so again i wrote on there and i wrote on here too like for these i'm supposed to add stuffing over the top these will also have cheese added to them and then this too will have cheese added when you actually do the sandwich having cauliflower the rest of it i cut up and is in here i also have some oranges that i didn't cut up yet because we still have some left over um and then i also also cut up the bell peppers you guys can see are up there like I said we had corn you guys this refrigerator seriously a mess I need to try and organize it a little bit there's not a whole ton of room for a lot of stuff in the refrigerator right now um but honestly guys this is probably why like we've got I think like two or three different kinds of ranch open on the door so that's why the at the um whipped cream can't fit on here right now <laughs> but I did cut up the salad and then I've also got um watermelon cut up but this is dinner for tonight night this is again one of those I just kind of figured out how <laughs> how to serve this um, but this is actually like a queso chicken it's literally like a cheese it's got uh, chicken rotel and cheese in there um, like queso like the you know the pre jarred like queso cheese um, like the dip so it's basically just a like glorified <laughs> like queso dip I guess um that's kind of for dinner um but I also did end up making Spanish rice to go with it too so again it can be over rice it could be over a salad you know it's kind of just however whoever wants to have it whatever way fits um so that's why we have um so called uh, chips and then I did make like I said some rice that's in there so yeah I need to get these freezer dinners outside to the freezer which I'm gonna have Jack help me carry these out um, and then we I, I'm actually don't really know I have yesterday's vlog I still need to edit I edited four already I didn't edit over the weekend at all so I'm actually pretty much all caught up with the exception of I didn't do yesterday so I'm thinking I might go and do that um, and I feel like I'm starting to get a headache right behind my eye um, but I like just ate um, because we got back from the movie so late. I ended up having like kind of a late lunch. I don't think I ate until like three o'clock or something like that. So I'm actually not really that hungry right now. Um, so I don't know. I might honestly just, I don't know if I'll have dinner because it's already seven o'clock. I might just wind up snacking on like some, some granola bars and maybe some just like snack stuff because I don't feel hungry enough to eat a full meal but I know that if I don't eat anything until I go to bed tonight I'm gonna wind up being hungry right when I'm like ready for bed. I thought I'd update you guys a little bit and show you guys um, some of my freezer dinner making and uh, produce prep for this week too. I'm not doing any salads for myself because I didn't have any strawberries on sale and I really realized I only really like doing them with strawberries. Sometimes I'll do them with um, like pre cans like um, mandarins but I like I've really been into fresh strawberries in my spinach berry salad um oh and also two guys with the um chicken stuffing I actually had just tried making um I have I made two already and I just made one for dinner yesterday night so that's why since they turned out well I um, am making another two of those and then also two guys I told you how I had the extra marinade because I didn't end up using it but 
I have, I thought that those, um, the orange barbecue chicken was gonna take a full like jar and a full thing of barbecue sauce for each. So I actually have enough that I can make another two of those freezer dinners. So like I said, the next time chicken breast is on sale, I've already got four freezer dinners that I can make with stuff that I already bought and already have. Um, the barbecue sauce I actually already had and the marinade I already had, or I'm sorry, the marmalade I already had from when it was on sale. And then this last week I actually got the marinade on sale as part of, they had like a Clorox deal for some reason. Um, <laughs> the marinade was included in the deal with like if you bought five, you save five dollars. And it was that and like a couple other Clorox products and a few other like random like things. I don't really know, but um, I'm wondering if it's from like the same brand, but the Clorox toilet bowl cleaner because we were almost out anyway. I got three bottles of that and two bottles of the um, what's it called marinade. So I have you know, and I got them super, super cheap too, guys. I think the um, toilet bowl cleaner was like 99 cents or something like that. It was really cheap. And then the, um, maybe a dollar fifty or something. And then the um, marinades were like 79 cents or something like that. So I, like I said, I like to buy my stuff when it's on sale, then, you know, make the freezer dinner when I have the chicken breast on sale. But any of the other staples I can just leave off to the side and be like, okay, next time chicken breast on sale, I got another freezer dinner so that I can make with that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go put that actually back in the cabinet, take my freezer dinners outside to the freezer. Well guys, I am going to get to bed now. It is my bedtime. I watched the Cubs game. I actually didn't edit yesterday's vlog, but I figured I'll edit yesterday's and today's tomorrow. So um, I'll just get to both of those tomorrow um since i edited for today and it was like didn't hardly take me any time so yeah guys i don't really have anything planned to do though for tomorrow like as far as like babysitting goes um like i think we've got some books and stuff like that that we can read but like i was planning on making the ice cream on monday i was planning on going to the movies today <laughs> i don't have anything planned for tomorrow but the good thing is is that i will be babysitting an hour later at eight o'clock she's going to drop him off or like 8 30 um and so it's better like i get to sleep in at least a little bit or don't have to be up like right at like seven o'clock because it's seven o'clock like seriously guys um if I haven't, like, if I didn't go to bed really early, it's, like, killer. <laughs> like, I'm just exhausted by the end of the day. Um, like, today I kind of was because I didn't go to bed really early last night. But I'm going to bed early tonight and I'm also going to, um, be able to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So I won't be, be able, I will be able to catch up a little bit on some sleep. So, anyways, I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.